The biggest terrain for the tiniest of prices, Tiny Terrain is here. If you haven't heard of Tiny Terrain yet, well, you're about to learn today. Miniature Market sent over us a bunch of samples of Tiny Terrain. Their feature, if you've seen them at conventions here in the States, people load up bags, literally bags full of this stuff. It's great for, you know, those little accessories to put on your tabletop. It's great for RPG players, for DMs alike. You get super affordable stuff that is, you know, basically pre-painted. You know, it's a, you don't, you, you can paint it. You don't have to paint it. It's cast in different colors and stuff. So it's really neat. It just sets up easy. It's resin. So it's resilient. It's really, really high quality stuff. And you can get a lot of it for, for not a lot of coin, believe it or not. Even, even if you... <laughs> they have free shipping over at Miniature Market for $100. I don't even know how many terrain items you would have to buy to get free shipping. But man, it would be a lot. You would have a big package coming. I think I might lose out on that one. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Anyways, <laughs> so they, they got some really dope terrain. Uh, they're always coming out with new varieties. We actually painted up some. We're going to do a painting tutorial to show you just how easy it is to paint your tiny terrain. Because like I said, stuff's super easy. It's it's just really, really good stuff for not a lot of money. And there's a lot of uh, folks out there, of course, that produce terrain. A lot of it you have to assemble, you gotta paint it, you gotta do all this stuff. And this is straight, boom, you buy it, you put it on the tabletop or you know your, uh, your dry erase board, your RPG mat, whatever you got going on, and you are good to go. Miniature Market is the exclusive place to pick up your tiny terrain. Of course, if you're at most conventions here in the States, you will probably also be able to pick it up and actually dig through the bins and have some fun and be like, oh, I want that one. No, no, I want that one right there. <laughs> so it's, it's, I've seen people do it. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing. I've, I've walked up and I've been like digging through the bins. I'm like, man, I got to stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk out of here with $100 worth of stuff. <laughs> so they've got clear resin. They've got normal resin. They've got color resin. They got varieties, all sorts of things. They've got, you know, near future in the past, they got monoliths, they got sandbags, barrels, any, I mean, 75 cents for an oil drum, like ready to go. You don't really have to do a whole lot to it. Radar dishes, all sorts of stuff. They got expensive things, I mean, for $5, but it's a big uh, radar dish, believe it or not. And then they've got, a, you know, a little bit more affordable stuff, like, you know, 75 cent pieces. So four pages of this stuff right here is, I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. All the different ladders and barriers and all sorts of things. You can check it out. Miniature market, pretty much any place you go on miniature market, you're going to see the link to get here. If you can't find it by yourself, but generally it's under the tabletop miniatures and then you can get into it through tabletop supplies and on down to tiny terrain. Like I said, all this stuff comes in pretty much any shape and size you could ask for uh, when it comes to basically anything you're looking for. I mean, there is so much depth and variety on these four pages I just showed you of terrain here. They've got, you know, clear cast crystals. And these these are actually pretty good quality. I mean, for what they are, I think these are about a dollar. Like, pretty crazy how good a quality you're getting right here. Now, remember, with any resin product out there, you're going to have to wash it. Use a little bit of uh, soap and water, dish soap. If you have a spare toothbrush that you're not using anymore, use that to get in there and try to remove some of that mold release because it will be mold release, you know, so these things don't catch and they can actually separate from the molds. But other than that, you can pretty much just set it on the tabletop straight from there, right? There's larger pieces, which uh, some folks like to make dioramas and things out of, which we got a picture to show you of one of those as well. And there's smaller pieces too, like we talked about, like little jersey wall barriers and things. These would go great for your tabletop. You can kind of kind of throw them anywhere you want. You know, if you play stuff like Infinity or uh, Warhammer 40K or even Legion, I suppose, from Star Wars, that would work out pretty good. You know, obviously, if you're, <laughs> you have to end some of your adventures at an inn and what better place to have a bunch of beds than an inn right there. And of course, you got some crazy corridors here, some blast doors for some sort of uh, spaceship bulkhead type deal open and closed right there uh tons and tons of trees like if you need to simulate a forest they got you covered right here lots of that and they actually paint up very well using a little bit of a dry brush method there just a dark brown and a little bit of a lighter brown um it goes a very long ways you know to making wood look great sandbag entrenchments 
for emplacements. If you've got some heavy weapons, you want to put them into a little emplacement here. You got some historical stuff. Um, I mean, your traditional cannon and things would fit in here. I mean, as far as scale goes, pretty pretty good size, three inches right there. If we compare it to some of the games out there that you probably know on the wargaming side of things, well, here's the here's the Space Marine. Fits right in there, just fine. Looks straight at home, no big deal. Very cool stuff. So all of this is definitely appropriate size as far as that goes. And they got all, some of them are uh, kind of like a two-piece type deal. Like here's a table with that. Let's check out that grain. That wood grain on there that's actually part of it. You can glue it down and you've got a table. Or you can leave it loose if you want to flip the table. Flip the table. <laughs> Whoop. We lost the tough. Oh, no. And all sorts of different things here. Columns. You've got cobblestone walls. A well. There's a larger well thought I had it. Nope, that's the well right there. So this is more of like a ruined tower with a staircase underneath. And I'm not sure what these are. Maybe they're shields or something. I don't exactly know. But either way, a great little throw piece of terrain for RPGs. Then there's some futuristic power generators and such. I mean, it's just all very cool. Literally this right here, I should have added up the value on it. But I would be very surprised if this was more than $30. Uh, for all this stuff right here, which doesn't exactly go together, but that doesn't uh, you know make it any less little barricades right here I mean who knows what you what you needs might be a little futuristic power supply uh, Craters like I said dried up fountain Wrecked wizards tower of some sort of province something like that wrecked barriers and fortifications I mean, it's just whatever you want. They probably have some sort of thing and like I said, they're always adding uh, to it different colored crystals and things treasure maps. I like this one here This is the gallows where you put uh, this is to catch the head <laughs> After after the executioner the chopping block so to speak literally So that would be very useful in some scenarios or some uh, Campaigns I would imagine a little treasure a little chest here. Who knows what's inside is it booby traps roll roll for initiative check for traps <laughs> uh, some Coals, red hot coals. Get me the poker. I got some red hot coals. And some of them come in different. I think there's some clear obelisks now. Some resiny obelisks. So it's all very easy to kind of put together. and All very modular, like works together. Sandbags are great. They're very easy to paint up, as you can see right here on this emplacement. So lots and lots of uh, cool looking stuff here. And let me give you a few more ideas, or at least one more idea on uh, something else you could do with some of these larger pieces like these ones so miniature market shared this with me this is their uh, cemetery piece and someone actually converted it to hold up the fury of dracula miniature so for a board game even how cool is that and they had a drill press from the looks of it and it looks like they just kind of drilled down to the set depth and were able to kind of countersink little chunks out of it and then attach their Fury of Dracula miniatures to it. So they literally created resin bases from the, the actual piece, the terrain piece, the actual tiny terrain piece, and then attach the miniatures to it. So there's literally <laughs> no limit to what you can do. Wow, I am so I am so inspired by this. Let's uh, hold on. Let's okay. Let's go over here. So cemetery, cemetery, cemetery. Um, my English is not so good sometimes. There it is, cemetery plots with something with headstones. So there it is, you can tell, holy cow, look at that. Oh, I can't enlarge it, but you can definitely tell right there, it's got the sarcophagus cover and the stones piled up on the mound, the fresh mound, stones piled up mound, and the little smooth dirt right there. That is definitely that miniature so it length is 85 with 60 so about three inches eh, three inches give or take around it's about one inch high and a little over three to four inches it looks like coming up on four inches wide so a nice base to kind of uh create some little diorama just like that it's crazy it's so cool uh to see that sort of thing and that creativity so what will you work on with Tiny Terrain? Well, it turns out it doesn't matter because it's so cheap. If you mess up 
or if you try to work out those hobby muscles and you're like oh dang i messed that up well a couple bucks will get you another piece and you don't have to worry about oh man i just ruined a 20 dollars kit or something like that right so get over there check out the website get those hobby juices flowing get some ideas on whatever you need for your campaign to your tabletop uh, the sky is literally the limit when it comes to uh, the tiny train over on miniature market site we'll put a link to it in the comments field below so you guys can check out all of the details and all of the offerings over there and we will have some tutorials for you to just to show you how easy it is this is literally just some dry brushing and base coating to get your terrain painted up as well if you want to get your terrain to the next level and take it up from this cast quality which you don't have to this stuff looks just fine you know on the tabletop there's enough different colors well then we'll show you how to do that in our next tiny terrain video as well so if you like these type of features here on the channel showing you new and exciting products from all over the tabletop realm make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos